It's just nine, nine. Good evening, church. Oh, Addie, now you recognize me. I threatened her with a bag of coal at the 1030 service, so it's amazing what a little behavior modification will do. Well, we're glad you're here, and uh, we're here to worship. The only other announcements that are kind of pertinent for tonight, next Sunday is a single service again in the morning at 1030. It's our fifth Sunday. It's not going to be a puzzle the pastor. That's a normal part of, I know, Greg doesn't know what to do. He's got a... Yeah, he's got all these questions ready for me, but it's going to be Ray Zirkel talking about the ministry that's going on down in Costa Rica and how our church supports it. So that will be, that will be next Sunday at the single service, 1030, followed by a luncheon. We will be providing the meat, but you all just bring a side, whatever the side to brisket is. I, or dessert. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was so worried there wouldn't be enough desserts. <laughs> We, we so often fall short of desserts in our church. So uh, anyhow, uh, with that, but that's the greeting. I don't do the opening prayer, right, on this one? I'll do it. Okay. Okay, we'll go for it. Okay. <laughs> so good to see you all this evening. Um, what a special day, right? Amen. I mean, it's Jesus' birthday. Now, what do you do when it's a birthday? We sing happy birthday, don't we? All right, let's all stand up. <laughs> and just to add a little bit, I want you to take your neighbor's hand. Take your neighbor's hand. You get to know the person next to you. I know, I know it's hard, but you can do all things through Christ. <laughs> all right, I'm going to pray, and then we're going to sing happy birthday. Oh, Lord Jesus, what an honor to come before you on this most special day, your birthday. Lord, we just honor you with all our heart and our thoughts, all our mind. We just give it to you this evening and, and, and praise you for the incredible thing you did for us. And we just ask that you be glorified and honored in all that we do this evening. And thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we want to sing happy birthday to you, Lord. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear flash you'll need to return to your seats this is a chance where you get to say hello to someone you don't know or haven't met <laughs> so when the lights flash go back to your seats <laughs> Giant.
really good sinner, and he saved me. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. That's good news. <laughs> I wasn't getting to heaven on my own. None of us are. You gotta have Jesus. You gotta have Jesus. It's great joy.
his righteousness and he shall reign on David's throne and his name shall be this day on wonderful counselor you are wonderful Lord everlasting father wonderful sit down for a moment <clears throat> and we're going to do the advent the light still <clears throat> tonight we mark the end the anticipation and the beginning of the greatest story. Hallelujah, Christ is born. Just read that? Okay. In this season of Advent, remember that Christ's coming will bring us love. For those who are forsaken and alone, Christ will bring us love. For those who are angry and hostile, Christ will bring us love. For those who have turned away from personal interaction, Christ will bring us love. For those who are pariahs, touched by scandal, Christ will bring us love. Today, we light the four candles. The first candle lights the way of, to hope. The second is for a world of peace. The third is for the joy of anticipation as we wait for the Christ child to be born. Finally, the fourth candle warms our hearts with the love Christ will bring us. O oh Lord God, there is nothing greater than the love you showed us when you gave your only Son to a world in dire need of his ministry. Help us to accept this love freely into our hearts so we can become more faithful vessels of your glory. We pray this in your name, O oh God. Amen. And we light the Christ candle. <clears throat>
Please remain standing for the reading of the word. On this wonderful birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, the reading is from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, for he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them, and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. 
Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which they were just as they had been told. This is the word of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing for what child is this? Just a couple of announcements before we begin the service of communion. Uh, since some of you are from out of town, and so you come at Christmas time, last year we had a different set of words because we were a different denomination. This year, part of joining a new denomination is that our, our, our words have changed. So 
if you think you've got this memorized and all of a sudden it sounds a little awkward, well, it's still awkward for me, and I've been doing it for six months. So anyhow, the other thing, too, is you don't have to be a member of this church to receive the bread and the cup. Uh, you just have to wish to receive Jesus in those very same elements. If you have a gluten sensitivity, we have a gluten-free alternative for you. Anything else I need to say? I think that's it. Okay, let's hear the invitation now. Christ our Lord invites to his table all who truly love him, who earnestly repent of their sin, who dwell in charity with their neighbors and intend to live a holy life. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, making your humble confession to Almighty God. Let us pray together now. Almighty and most merciful God, we confess and lament that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. Because the remembrance of our sin is more than we can bear, have mercy on us and forgive us. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, pardon us of all that is past, and grant that we may ever serve you in newness of life to the glory of your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give our thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it is our joy to give thanks to you in all places and at all times, Almighty Father. You are the source of all truth, life, and love. You made us in your image and you breathed into us the breath of life. When in our sinfulness we turned away from you and our love failed, your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you with the angels and the archangels and all the company of heaven forever singing this hymn to the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All praise and glory is yours, O God, our Father. For in your tender mercy, you gave your only son, Jesus Christ, to the world. Your spirit anointed him to bring good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to comfort those who mourn, to proclaim freedom for captives, and to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to announce the year of the Lord's favor. In obedience to your will, he stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself once for all, that by his suffering and death, we might be saved. By his resurrection, he broke the bonds of death, trampling hell and Satan under his feet. As our great high priest, he ascended to your right hand in glory, that we might come with confidence before the throne of grace. On the night that he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink this, do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith as we say, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption, O Father, receiving these gifts of bread and of the cup with thanksgiving for the death and the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. Sanctify them by your word and Holy Spirit to be for us the body and blood of Christ. Sanctify us also that we may worthily receive this holy sacrament and partake of his most best blessed body and blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, and one as your church, that Christ may dwell in us, and we in him. 
in the fullness of time, put all things in subjection, uh, subjection under your Christ and gather us together with all your saints in the joy of your heavenly kingdom where we shall see our Lord face to face. We ask this through your Son, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit in your holy church be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. And now with the confidence of children of God, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The bread we take is a sharing in the body of Christ, and the cup we take is the cup of the new covenant poured out for you and for me and for many for the forgiveness of sins. In preparation to receive these, let us say the prayer of humble access as we pray. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your abundant and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs from under your table, but you are the same Lord whose character is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Before I call down those that are serving communion tonight, just a reminder, I should have said this a little earlier. After you have received the communion elements and if you've gone to the rail, but anyhow, before you go back to your seat, this is the operative term, before you go back to your seat, Pick up a candle, okay? And then that way you'll handle, have it for the candle lighting. So receive the elements, take Christ in you, get a candle. Okay, very good. Will those helping with communion come down at this time? The table is set. Please come and receive. Let us close our time at the Lord's table with the Thanksgiving prayer. We pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, Send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Those helping with the candles to light, please come forward and light your candle and let the Christ come in.
For unto us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. And of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. And he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. Let's sing that verse again. Shepherds wake at the sign. Raise your candles. And the prophet said, and he shall be called, the child shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. That child was born on Christmas and lives still in you and in me. It is Christmas in us. We are the, we are the manger. We are the stable. We are where Christ is born, born into the night to do great works through humble beginnings. Go from his house with that certainty. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Merry Christmas. Gently blow your candle out, and there are baskets at the back in the foyer that you can put these in. Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. 